Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. Today's video was all about the Natasha Denona My Dream Collection. I picked up the whole collection and we're going to be creating this look using that collection. If you're curious to see how they apply and my initial thoughts, keep watching. Let's get started and unbox the brand new Natasha Denona My Dream Palette. So I picked up her midi palette. I picked up the blush and highlight palette. I also picked up all of the lip products. So there's a lip liner, lipstick, and lip gloss. I thought we would go ahead, unbox everything, and create a look using the My Dream collection. So let's go ahead and start with the eyeshadow. I really cannot wait. This eyeshadow palette just caught my eye. I just, the color story just spoke to me. I was like, yes, I have to have it. <laughs> have to have it. Here is the palette. I think it is really really beautiful it's very different than any of her others just like even the texture of the palette is different now i will say that there's a little bit of powder here i'm not i have opened this it didn't appear as if anything was broken but there is some powder on the back so here's the palette i'm gonna swatch all of these up here with the black and work my way across so I'm going to start first with the shade called Blackest Black. Now this is an existing shade. And this is a shade she normally sells individually on its own. So that is Blackest Black. And then we have Aspiration, which is like a dark brown. Serenity, and this is a shimmer, and that's like a taupe shade. We have Carpe Diem, which is, I don't know what you call that, kind of like a mix of brown and red. And then last is Babies, and again, this is a shimmer. So that is the first row. Now, if you are curious about any of these names, um, on Natasha Denona's Instagram, she's got a bunch of stories saved and she goes through all of it. So there's a bright fuchsia and that is a cream to powder formula. And then we have Thrill, which is another shimmer. Unity, which is a matte. That's kind of like a peach. Risk. Another shimmer. And then last is Invention. So here is that second row. I'm running out of room on that side, so we're going to start on the other arm. And this first one is Vision. And this is a duochrome. Kind of got some green purple in there. Edgy is another cream to powder. It's like a purple. Spontaneous. She described as a highlight for your eye. I mean, that's beautiful. Next is Nurture, which is a matte. That's definitely my shade right there. And then last is another matte, or maybe it's a cream to powder, and it's Familia. No. So that is all 15 shades. I'm really, really excited. I am gonna create two separate eye looks just because there are 15 shades and I wanna be able to use as many of them as I can. I'm going to start with a Chikohoto blending brush and I'm going to go into the brown down here, Nurture. And we're going to place that in the crease. I have primed my eyes already. Today I use the Tom Ford Emotion Proof Primer. I am going to try and create one look that's kind of like every day where to work and then I'll try and create a little bit edgier look. So Nurture is a beautiful, beautiful 
create shade or transition shade. I'm going to take a Sony G Mini Booster and I'm going to go into that shade Familia, which is a brown. And I'm placing that in the outer corner. That is really, really pigmented. So that shade is really, really pigmented. I really had to blend to diffuse it because it is so pigmented. And now I'm just going in with that first blending brush and just blending the crease. I'm going to go in to the shimmer right here called Spontaneous. Again, I'm going to take that blending brush and blend. I'm going to take a rougher number 23 and go into Familia and Nurture and kind of blend them together to go underneath the eye. Looks like there might have been some fallout there. All right, so there's the first eye look. Very, very everyday kind of neutral browns shades. Did not take very long to create, and this is something you could easily wear every day. So I will go ahead and line my eyes real quick put some mascara on, and then we'll be back to create a more smoky, edgier look. All right, so for my left eye, I'm going to create a more smoky, edgier look. I'm gonna start with a Marc Jacobs crease brush, and I'm gonna go dark, guys. I'm gonna go into that shade right there, Aspiration. Now I am gonna go lightly, but it is gonna be darker. I'm going to go ahead and take a liquid liner. This is the Surratt liquid liner. I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes and then I'll come back and we're going to build upon that liner to really smoke out that eye. All right, so I have a little bit of the liner on. I'm going to take a BK Beauty 209 and I'm going to go into the blackest black and we're going to just build up that liner. a little bit of fallout from the black. I'm going to take a Bobbi Brown Smoky Liner Brush and go into that same matte shade that I started with, Aspiration. And again, keep building that liner. And I'm taking that same shade, Aspiration, and now building up the crease. I take a rougher number 28, and I'm gonna go into this taupe shade, this shimmer, it's called Serenity. And we're going to place that in the middle of the eye. That's a really pretty shade. I'm going to take a Sony G flat definer and go into the shimmer called Babies. We're going to place that in the inner corner of the eye. take the lightest, the lighter shimmer called Thrill and just run that underneath my brow bone. I'm going to take that BK Beauty 209 and go into the blackest black to line my lower lash. Again, I'm going to use that Bobbi Brown Smoky eye brush. I'm going to go put mascara on and then we'll be back to take a look at the final eye looks before we move on to this cheek palette. All right, the eye looks are done. 
I really, really like both of them. I love a smoky eye. Love a smoky glam eye. I still need a lot of practice <laughs> to get there, um, but I really do like the way they look. Now the everyday neutral colors, I mean, that's what I wear to work. So that's what I'm just better at that. And that's just what I kind of lean towards and gravitate towards. But I, it's because I do it every day. But if I could wear a glam, smoky eye look to work, I would. I can't, but I would. I love it. The shadows blended. And just like her other formulas, I didn't notice anything really different. I thought that they were really easy to work with. And I really did like the uh, performance of them. So at the end of the video, I, I will try and swatch some other shades that I have to see if any of them are similar. But right now we're going to open up this cheek palette. This is the blush and highlighter palette. There is one blush and two highlighters. So here are the blushes. You've got a cream blush, a glow cream base, dream glow. So we'll start first with this blush. I'm going to use a Chikohoto KZ number four. It's actually a powder. It says cream, but it feels like a powder. I like this shade. It's kind of like a bronzy blush. Now, this metal highlighter, did you guys just see that? Yeah, that fell out. Okay, well, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> um, this middle shade right here is a cream highlighter. So I'm gonna use my BK Beauty 106 to stamp it on. I'm gonna take a Sony G Designer Pro to go in with the powder highlighter. And that's the one that fell out of my um, case. And she said, just run this over the cream. That is a glow. I'm going to take my, my Sonia G Face 1 to buff. I do think it is pretty. But you have to really want a glow. Because that is this combination is going to give you a glow. I love it. I really, really really love it. However, like I said, you'd have to be one who likes a glow. Um, I am 44. I do have some fine lines. I wouldn't say I have wrinkles, but I definitely have fine lines. I would say that this is mature skin friendly. In real life, it doesn't appear to be emphasizing any of my pores. Now, I don't know what it'll look like back on camera, but in real life, it looks beautiful. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Um, I did purchase mine from Sephora. I will be contacting Sephora. Because <laughs> um, right now I've got a big mess. Big mess of uh, some powder highlighter all over my desk. All right, let's go into the new lip shades. So this is a um, lip crayon. And it's in shade Natasha. Here is the packaging. That's what it looks like. It is definitely the shade of my lips. I don't know if I can get a closer match. And then the new lipstick is also in shade Natasha. And there is the packaging. Uh, it is perfect. This is a perfect nude shade for me. 
there is a gloss. I do not think you need a gloss on top of this lipstick. It's already very hydrating. But because I picked it up, we're going to go ahead and try it. So here is the gloss. Again, shade Natasha. All right, there's the finished look. I love it. I want to go out. I want to go do something. I think it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What do you guys think? Did you pick up this palette or the cheeks or the lip? I am so excited that I did. And now I'm really curious to see what other shades I have in my collection that are similar. Do I have any dupes? Did I really need this palette? Glam palette. So this is my favorite, favorite, favorite palette ever. <laughs> um, I just love it. So we have Lash Line, which is similar to the black. It might be just a little bit lighter. We have Blend, which might actually be closer over here. So there's Blend. Nope, it's a different shade. We have Smoke. And that's a different tone also, that's a little bit cooler. And then we got some like pink shimmers. So here is Inner Corner. So the Inner Corner is kind of similar, but maybe a little bit cooler in pink. And then Center Eyelid. Those spontaneous and center eyelid look pretty similar. I think that's all from the Glam palette. I do have a bunch of her little ones. And this is the Zendo palette and shade Uncovered, which is this one right here, which I thought maybe, yeah, so Uncovered is kind of like Carpe Diem. This is the Mini Nude. There's another pink shimmer. And that is very similar as well. So that's Thrill. And that shimmer in the mini nude is pretty close. Here is the mini Biba. And there is a peach shade in here called Plush. And that looks pretty similar to that one. All right, we had a little family emergency. <laughs> um, all right, so this is the mini Biba palette, and I'm going to swatch shade Wink. So that's also pretty similar to that Carpe Diem. I was trying to find something like Risk. Um, but this one also has a shimmer shade called Blaze Nude. And that one might be just a little bit too pink. Cool toned. I have the Mini Nude and in here is a shade called Sienna. I think it reminds me of maybe this Serenity. No, it's a little bit too copper. There's also another shimmer. It's a little bit too white. It's a matte. And that's too light. So I wouldn't say maybe anything in the mini nude. Here's the mini star palette. But that's a little too light. Maybe something in the love palette. Let's try passion. No, that's a little bit more fuchsia than that. All right, so in going through all my palettes, there are definitely some dupes. Not enough to create 
a dupe of the whole palette. I do think that this palette is beautiful. I am really, really excited to continue to play with it and create more looks. I think that the cheek palette is stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. But I have other cheek duos from Natasha Denona that I absolutely love as well. So I really didn't have any doubts that I was gonna love it. And the lipstick is, that might be my favorite, new nude. I love, love the shade. Let me know what you guys think. I'm curious. I know that there are so many Natasha and Denona palettes and so many that I don't even have that it is definitely possible that there are other shades that I just wasn't able to dupe. So let me know what you guys think. Is this palette too similar to other palettes you have in your collection? I don't think it's too similar to the ones I have in my collection, so I am happy to have it. Um, I do not have the retro palette and I have seen swatch comparisons where other people say it's not similar at all. But let me know down below. Let me know if you guys are picking it up. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.